Welcome to the Pelican Island Audubon Society tutorial on eBird. This is the eBird homepage. In this session we will enter the bird counts from the very first birding basics field trip taken with the Pelican Island Audubon Society. That field trip happened on October 2nd, 2010 at the Sebastian Inlet State Recreation Area. There's actually a video about the trip on the Pelican Island Audubon Society homepage at the bottom. But before we get into the eBird software, Let's talk about why we should enter our bird counts into eBird. A very personal reason is that you can keep a personal bird list and a diary of your trips. Also, as a citizen scientist, you are contributing to the international knowledge base, which leads to a better understanding of bird distribution and bird behavior. And finally, the more people who enter bird counts, the more accurate the data, which can help you with your own personal birding trips and birding lists. For example, here's a bar chart from eBird showing birds sighted during the year in our county. And this is a map from eBird which shows the number of black-bellied whistling ducks sighted in the wetlands treatment facility in 2013. But let's get back to submitting our bird counts. The first thing you would do is click on this tab which says Submit Observations. Then you would sign in if you have an account. If you don't, come over here to this link on the right which says create an account. Create a username that's relatively short. You don't have to use your full name, but once you choose a username, you cannot change it. Next, we need to identify our birding location. We'll select find it on a map because our location is a hotspot and hotspots are already on the map. We'll type in Indian River for the county, Florida for the state. The country's already there, so we click on Continue. And on this map, we'll use the slider to pull the map up and the hand to pull the map over. And our hotspot, well, these brown teardrop icons indicate hotspots, and ours is right here. The others are also in the park, just in different locations. Once we click on it, the name of the hotspot shows up on the right-hand side. Then we can click on Continue, and we'll fill in information about the trip. So it took place on this date. We'll call it a traveling type because the group took a specified route. It started at 7 a.m. Notice I have to click in the second box to type the 00, zero. then I pick AM. The duration was two hours and notice I have to click in the minutes box to type in the minutes. It was five miles, the party size was 10, and I'm not going to enter comments here but you could, something about the weather or maybe the facilitator or something like that. We'll click on continue and then eBird brings up a list of birds associated with that location. I'm going to scroll down till I come to the first bird on this list that they saw. And they saw 24 wood storks, 5 comorants, 15 pelicans, and so forth. Let's assume we have entered all of the counts from that trip. Now we have to answer this question on the right side, which asks if we are submitting a complete checklist of birds we were able to identify. It really helps the scientists if we can say yes to this question. Then, when we, then we would click on Submit, and afterwards we will see a summary of all the data entered. You need to review it and correct any errors. And that's it. Pretty straightforward. Now that you see how easy it is, we hope you will enter all of your bird counts into eBird. For more information about advanced features of eBird, consult the eBird website. Happy birding!